Well, Grand Stream people, I accidentally... Mmm. Made a rum and eggnog drink. Today... Mm. Oh, that's too good. That's very good. We are going to unbox a couple things that Grandstream sent me a week ago. I've been very busy with lots and lots of projects and videos. So today <clears throat> I grabbed a fiber cable, a pair of 10 gig and 1.25 gig transceivers. We'll put it into the rack into my um, link aggregate switch that Grandstream sent me. Thank you. And you're going to want to like and subscribe because I got a lot of content coming for 2025. Grandstream today just released a webinar saying we're coming out with Wi-Fi 7 access points and there's many models. Very excited for that because right now my favorite access point right now is my, it's up there, Wi-Fi 6E access point from them. Now, the reason why I waited a little while is not because I knew that, but this bottom piece right here is 2.5 gigabit with PoE to power that. I wanted to see if there's gonna be any differences. Right now, maybe for the last four months, five months, I've been running my Mac Studio off wireless. Not a single issue, love it. So maybe, since it's only got one gig up link to my 48 port switch, using this switch transfers might be a little bit faster. And I'll show that later on, but for now, Another drink. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. I like that. We're going to open up two, bo three boxes. The first one they sent me a while ago. I was extremely excited when they sent me this. I opened it and went, oh, it's going to be awesome. Next year, 2025, we're going to install this and try it. Now, <clears throat> this is a in-wall on wall access point wi-fi 6 one to be actual to be exact with ports in the bottom i'm excited for this because many of my clients have wall plates wait a second it's a plate that goes over this to make it look real pretty hold on looks more like like that. Many of my clients have this setup where we can't run wires because they're in concrete buildings or there's nowhere to run the wires to make it look nice. But they have a ethernet jack on the wall or maybe two where I could put this on there and then this and I can provide Wi-Fi in all their offices. Now when you use multiple ones of these you just turn down the RF power so that way not every one of them is beaming at a maximum 100% RF output. The nice thing about that is we have one in, so all I have to do is install a PoE switch, proper one, in the rack to power all these devices. And then they'll be able to plug in their printer, phone, or laptop, plus have Wi-Fi in their offices. Very, very, very excited for that. The next device they sent me was the GWN7604. And I'll put pictures of these things so you guys can see. This little guy, I believe Willie did a video on this one already, is a desktop switch slash access point. Tiny little one. This one, similar to this one, this one goes on the wall and covers the wall plate. This one can just sit on the desk. We have four gigabit PoE ports and DC 12 volts, but I know for a fact you could power this with the PoE. So you can put this on the wall or on the desk and plug in a printer, maybe a phone and a laptop and power it by the main switch at the head office or at the head location where all the equipment is. Excited to try that one too. 2025, got lots of cool content coming. Okay, the meat and potatoes, after I take another drink. 
Mm, BB another one. Okay, so let's dive into this switch. Very excited for this because like I said, I'm going to install it on the rack and try it with my access point. This one is extremely heavy. Very, very heavy. Ooh, look at that. So we got our book. I wonder if we get a sticker. Do we get a sticker? Found a product last week that didn't come with a sticker. I hope it comes with a sticker. Are they not doing that anymore? Huh. Okay. So we got eight PoE ports that are 2.5 gigabit plus two 10 gig ports for the uplink. Awesome. It's got fans. I wonder how loud it is. We're going to plug it in and adopt it to my control. Oh, there's the sticker. I found it. Ha <laughs> Always keep your stickers. I love it that they have these stickers. So in the box also, we have our typical power cord. We have rack ears, which I'm going to need because I'm going to rack it. A grounding strap that straps to the back of this and a wire power cord so that way it cannot fall out by accident. But we don't need any of that stuff right now because I'm not going to rack mount it. What I do need is a power cord, and then I'm going to sign in and we're going to plug this in and see what it does. So give me a second. I will plug in a transceiver. Let's try a 10 gig. We'll use a 10 gig bi die transceiver. Let's use port 10. Oh, these are rubber. Nice. Okay. And I'll get a power cord. Hold on a second. Got myself a power cord. We'll plug this fiber cable in. Try not to lose the cap on the top that protects it. Plug him in. And we'll plug in the switch. Okay. And as it's booting up, turning on, I will log in, take another drink, mm. eggnog and rum. Okay, connect myself to Wi-Fi so that way I can actually be on the network. We'll head on over to the gdms.cloud, log in. Oh, it's quiet. It booted. It's quiet. Sweet. Okay. We're logged in and it remembered my dark theme this time. Love it. Okay, now we need to add a device. So we'll go to devices and we'll go add. Now I gotta squint to see this little sticker because it's small. I take a picture of it with my phone and then read it. How about that? Okay, and the password on the bottom. It's also on the back of the switch just so you guys know if you're new to watching this channel. Make sure you're liking and subscribing. On the back of every switch that Grandstream or every product that is managed by the network, Grandstream leaves the password and username or, or the MAC address and password for the device on the actual device. So you know. We'll add. Poof. Okay. We should see it online. We can see that it's online because it's got a green light. So that means that it likes my single mode bi-directional fiber 10 gig connection. Let's see if it's actually connected here. Where did I call that? Oh, oh it's right on the bottom already. Huh. Let's see our connections. Ports? Oh, I went to the wrong one. Ports. Oh, it shows it online. Let's see. Drink. Mm. And I got one more drink left. Uh oh. Let's see if it detects the NetAlley NXG device on this and do a test. Let's see. I'll grab a cable from my rack because it's not being used. Hopefully I won't dump the drinks. Let's see. We'll power this guy up. Plug him in the top. And this device will tell me PoE power along with what it's connected at 
And since we can see the screen, we'll be able to see that I've got this device plugged to it. Now, I already see a problem here. I got no more drink. So we'll do that and then we'll cut the video short. And then next year, and then the next video will be lots more stuff coming. Don't worry. Okay, so let's do a auto test. Is it connected? Oh, we gotta select wired profile. Here, I forgot. I had it set to 10 gig only, so it's not going to uh, connect, obviously. Speed, we're gonna go, uh, yep, look at that. We got green light, perfect. Okay, it says on the screen, I'll take a screenshot and show you guys here. Oh, found my pie hole. If we click back on this switch, down here. Actually, it's up here now, it moved, my bad. And we go to ports, port. We will see, it should be purple to show that it's 2.5 gig. I'm not gonna worry about it. But as you can see in the screenshot here, it's connected at 2.5 gig. Can we, hold on. Mm. POE test? Where do we go for that? I'm still getting used to this tool, so bear with me. Probably can, but I don't have an enable because it's just not set up in this test. Auto test settings. No, I'm not going to worry about it because I have to redo a default test that I have. And I want to save that for later. So, switch works. It's online, working, 2.5 gig. I am going to put the ears on this put it in my rack, plug in my access point, and test some stuff, and also go get another one of these because they taste really good. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. 2025 is going to be great, and I have a special uh, video coming out soon to talk about something that I'm going to be doing in 2025, so hopefully you're watching. Talk to you guys later.